Hello viewers, welcome to Equinox Homeopathy. This is Dr. Meen Kapande and this video is about coronavirus outbreak and its homeopathic management. So let's get into the topic. The ongoing 2019 and 20 coronavirus outbreak is a public health emergency of international concern originated in China, Wuhan as an epidemic and spreading all over the world as a pandemic affecting more than 70 countries and the numbers are increasing day by day. As we don't know how it will progress, that's a matter of concern. There is a lot of anxiety among the people as this new zoonotic infection, that is the infection, whether it could be bacterial, viral or fungal, that transmits from non-human to human is entirely new and there is no treatment as such. Due to its fast spread, having no specific treatment and death caused in elderly population with pre-existing diseases with low immunity is a matter of concern. Looking after this outbreak and its consequences on the general population, it compelled me to make this video and I request all the homeopaths all over the world, please come together and help the community to overcome this crisis. So let's understand how does it spread. Infection is primarily through human to human via respiratory droplets that people exhale such as cough or sneeze, quite like any other flu or influenza. It can also spread via contaminated surface such as door handles or railings. It has an incubation period that is the period from exposure to the virus and the development of the symptoms ranging from 2 to 14 days. However, the recent studies show that it may extend to 24 days and the case mortality rate has been estimated from 2 to 3 percentage. So let's understand the presentation of this infection. It has been divided into early stage and the later stage. Depending upon the case, the symptoms may vary from mild to moderate intensity. Most infected people clinically describe it as flu-like symptoms like having body ache, cold, cough. Here it has been said they have a dry kind of cough, breathing difficulty, later stage with a deeper pathology. It has been seen in elderly population aged more than 60 years who have already pre-existing diseases and have a compromised immune system. With this early manifestation and if the diseases is not managed properly, it can develop further and can lead to severe pneumonia, acute respiratory distress syndrome, sepsis shock. It's a life-threatening condition that arises when the body's response to infection causes injury to its tissue and organs and finally death. The later stage with the deeper pathology needs proper monitoring considering their vital parameters, their physical condition, their mental condition, everything needs to be taken into consideration. So this was the manifestation of the people who have already been diagnosed with coronavirus infection. I'll be talking about another group of people who have not been infected, not been diagnosed with this kind of infection, but the psychological havoc that has created by this pandemic is remarkable. With the increase in number of infected people, the government is alarming it as a national emergency. There is continuous fear of being infected and the fear is persistent even if the patient has confined themselves to their houses. Due to an emergency alert and as a precautionary measures, they are stocking up all the basic necessary items. People are lining up for the items and all the aisles in the supermarket are getting out of stock. The amount of hoarding is directly proportional to the level of anxiety in an individual. So this is how I have categorized it into two groups. One who have not been infected or diagnosed with infection but have great psychological influence. And secondly, people who have been infected and diagnosed with coronavirus infection and it is further divided into early stage and the later stage with a deeper pathology. Let's go and understand how to prevent this disease. The first thing you can do is washing your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds very often. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, your mouth with unwashed hands. Wash your hand before eating, blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing. Avoid close contact with people who are sick with flu-like symptoms. Stay home when you are sick or quarantine yourself from your family members and observe your symptoms. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue and then throw the tissue in the trash. Clean and disinfect the regular touched objects and surfaces with a regular household cleaning spray or wipes. 
So this was a preventive measure. Let's understand what is the treatment part of it. There isn't any treatment which can kill or deactivate this virus or can control the adverse effect that it produces when it gets inside your body. But there are ways where you can manage the cases by boosting your immunity. See, we human beings are programmed in a way where we have inbuilt fighting mechanism which can deal with any kind of infection whatsoever comes in. If your immunity is good, you will not fall sick. And even though if you fall sick, the recovery is much better without distressing the whole system. What all are the factors which affect your immune system? Food, rest, exercise and stress has got high impact on immune system. To enhance your immune response, you have to work in all the directions. It's a lifestyle modification to combat any kind of illnesses that you come across. How homeopathy can help in these cases? Homeopathy is that system of medicine which helps to boost your immunity and your body is able to fight back those infections in a much better way because of the high resistance and good immunity level. So even if the bacteria or the viruses mutate, that means it changes its form and nature, your body will be still in condition to fight back those infections because homeopathy is not bacterial or viral specific. It is an individual specific which builds up your immunity to fight back those infections. Homeopathy has always served people in olden times and modern times in cases of epidemics and pandemics. I have attached a link of a report by Central Council of Research in Homeopathy in Epidemics in the description box. Those who are interested, please, you can go through with the past reports. There are several approaches that have been proposed in homeopathy. Those are individualization, genus epidemicus, combination of remedy. Let's see one by one. Individualization is a process of examining every individual case at physical and mental level, which we usually do in all our cases. But in cases of pandemics and epidemics, it is just not possible that you individualize every case. The second comes genus epidemicus. Treatment with genus epidemicus can be successful if the data has been obtained by the experienced physicians handling those patients with infections at first hand. They take the totality of all the symptoms that have been experienced by the patient and from this totality of symptoms, we come down to a remedy which helps in dealing the cases of epidemics and pandemics. The third is combination of remedies. After understanding the symptomatology of a disease individual, we come down to a group of remedies and these group of remedies are given to the patients to combat any kind of epidemics or pandemics. So let's understand the group of remedies that are coming up as we have already categorized the cases into two broader groups, those who have not been infected but have a panic and the other part, those who have already been diagnosed with COVID and has mild to moderate symptomatology and second is the complicated cases. So let's understand what all are the remedies that will fit into these categories. So the top remedies that comes up in the cases who are in the state of panic without any infection the top remedies that comes up are arsenic, gelsemium, calcarea carb, stramonium. So let's go to the, the second part, those who have mild to moderate symptoms. Considering the general symptomatology of the diseases like cold, coryza, cough, body ache, fever, difficulty in breathing, the top remedies that comes here are again arsenic album, gelsemium, bryonia, dupatorium, and pulsatilla. As per Ayush ministry, arsenic album is a remedy suggested to the general population which can help in prevent this outbreak. And as per my understanding of this outbreak, arsenic album is the remedy that comes top in the totality. Let's get into the another category where there is a deeper pathology involved leading to complications. These kind of cases need close monitoring and need to be at the bedside of the patient. Depending upon the pathology and general symptoms of pneumonia, acute respiratory distress syndrome, sepsis, shock and organ failure, the top remedies that comes up here are antim tart, carbovage, camphora, barita carb. I request you all to take the medicine only after consulting your nearby homeopaths. Do not overdose by yourself. Till then, take care of yourself and people around you and follow all the precautionary measures. And thank you for watching this video.